So today's silly new toy to try out is a filter that blocks all visible light but passes infrared and ultraviolet. So you get the blues in the sky. The effect on the foliage looks like a less than 720 but more than my 670 or 650, whatever it is. By eye, those leaves are black. I keep hoping to find flowers with um, hidden UV markings, but no luck so far. Wonder what happens when I crank the saturation up in post. Well, it looks like the dead foliage is a lot darker than the living stuff. Yeah, you can really see those spots. By eye, they're subtle. And this is what they look like with the sun right on them instead of being backlit. Of course, I only brought my 14 to 30 today. So it seems like with the sun falling on the subject, the infrared effect is a lot stronger than it is when you're pointing into the sun, seeing everything backlit. I've also noticed shooting after dark, the infrared effect is a lot less prominent. There's little wisps of clouds I can see through the camera that are invisible to my eye. I'm not able to generate a custom white balance uh, setting on this camera for uh, this filter. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. This one looked better in the evening, but I think this might be a little better. Oh yeah, number four for noon sun for sure. I love listening to music on these photo walks, but uh, that jump from Starless to Elephant Talk gets me every time. It's like two different bands. those ultraviolet markings that you're attracted to, bees? Where are they? I want to see them too. 